Today I'm going to look at an HP notebook, an older i5 notebook that will not power on. So let's dig in and see what's wrong. So when we plug the power adapter in, and it's going to be a little close here, excuse this view, but it gives you a chance to see we get a, we do get a orange light, but it doesn't boot. So that's the problem we're getting. So looks like it's attempting to charge the battery. So we know the power adapter is pretty good. Let's start first by removing the battery. And again, this is one of the ones that you can remove the battery, so it's really nice. Nice, easy battery removal. Now, we can remove the case. And I'll save you the effort of, to watch me remove all these screws. The case seam here is at the top, so I will release the uh, all the clips in here, and we'll remove it. Again, I'll save you the effort on that and go right to the repair. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is check for shorts. Find here a nice ground. Test. We'll test some of these. Twenty four ohms, twenty five ohms. So that's got to be the CP CPU. That's normal. That looks like a short point four. So that's not good. So we'll look at that in a bit. See what else we got here. 12 ohms, kind of normal. 12 ohms, normal. Let's test some of these other ones. So we're looking at possibly a short with the CPU, but we'll go back to that. We're going to test all these voltage rails first. So now 0.3 ohms was so that's basically a short 24 ohms. So we got one short at voltage trail. So I'm in the process of removing the heat sink on the CPU so we can see if the CPU shorted. Because it really looks like I took some screws off already. It really looks like the CPU is shorted. So we're going to give it a, a good check out here. The thermal grease looks good on this. So we're going to take the thermal grease off. And what we're going to do is clean it off a little bit just to so we get a good reading of that CPU if we can see if there's anything wrong with it physically and just give it a good check. So we can see underneath of it now. I'm just using an alcohol pad here. Does a really nice job. It's only 70% uh, IPA, but just does a nice job. It's already pre moistened. Works good. It's just regular IPA, isopropyl alcohol. And we're going to do voltage injection. I clamped on the on a ground right there. And we're going to do voltage injection of 0.8 volts because it's the CPU and we'll start at one amp. So now I'm going to proceed with voltage injection. I'm going to use an infrared camera on my cell phone to show infrared images. Right now we're going to have it at one amp and as you can see the ground clip is on a ground screw on the bottom and I'm injecting one amp at the site. So there's a lot of reflections from the shiny components on here. So it doesn't look like you're going to see too much on this. But we'll look all over the board. Then I'm going to continue to raise it up to 2 amps and even 3 amps. At this point we're just looking for any other components that are warm.
and you really can't see anything, just a lot of reflections. Okay, now I'm going to raise it to 3 amps so you can actually see it easier. This setting is like a reddish setting, so you'll see it glow actually the PCH part of the uh, processor chip. You can see it glowing on and off. That's at 3 amps. So you can see getting a brighter red as I apply the current. Here's a better view, color enhanced view. You see the PCH warming up, but nothing else. See some shadows with the PCH? It's getting hot. There you go, you get to see it now in color. That's it, folks. It's a bad PCH. Unfortunately, this is a no repair. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.